Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Thursday, February 27th, 2020. I'm Fredicia Liburd. A committee has been put in place to look at providing non-established workers with retirement benefit packages. That is according to Premier of Nevis, the Honourable Mark Brantley, who made the announcement at his Thursday, February 27th press conference. We know that there are people in the system who have worked 40, 50 years sometimes, and they have no security. Because they, when they came into the system, for one reason or the other, may not have had the necessary qualifications that the public service requires in order for them to be appointed. Many of them have worked long, and Public Works and Water Department, Ministry of Health, we have a lot of those workers. And they have given tremendous service. But whereas when the public servants, the civil servants leave, they have pensions and that kind of thing. When the non-established workers or the auxiliary workers leave, they don't have any such arrangement. Well, we are seeking to fix that. And uh, legislation was proposed in St. Kitts to deal with that at a federal level. A committee would have recently met under the chair of the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Communication and Works, to look at the current practices in providing non-established workers with some type of retirement benefit package, and to make recommendations to the cabinet to approve and formalize a written policy for retirement, be bene retirement benefit packages for any workers. The committee is comprised of the permanent secretaries in the ministries of communications and works, finance, the premier's ministry, human resources, tourism, and health, as well as a representative of the legal department and the chief labor officer. According to Premier Brantley, who is also the Minister of Finance, Human Resources, Tourism and Health, a draft policy should be coming soon. Meantime, the Premier urged non-established workers who are currently in the system to continue to upgrade their skills and qualifications. To be appointed, there are some requirements. Have you satisfied the requirements? Being appointed is not a favor. It's not because you support a party. It's not because you're somebody's friend. Being appointed flows from having the requisite qualifications to be appointed. And so for those who are in the system now, who are not yet appointed and who want to be appointed, we encourage them to do what they need to do. To check with their supervisor, check with human resources, find out what the requirements are, and to proceed accordingly. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley. The Department of Physical Planning is inviting the general public to an interactive session with representatives of the firm Open Consultancy. In conjunction with the UNDP, United Nations Development Program, based in Barbados, they have uh, uh, granted a consultancy to an entity called Open Plan. This is a consultancy firm out of the UK. To review the Nevis Draft Physical Planning, uh, Development Plans, I'm sorry, 2005, 2008, and 2017. This week, the consultants are conducting a series of meetings, including the interactive session. I am specifically inviting the public on Friday, 28 February 2020, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., to come to the Charleston Memorial Square for an interactive session with the consultants for their vision for the area where you reside on island. So put differently, if you're from Cox or you're from Hanley's Road, you would want to come and hear what they're proposing that that area might be zoned for and how we are going to seek to develop. Planning and proper planning is critical, <coughs> especially for a small island like ours. And so we are seeking to get to a point where we get it right, where we get it as right as we can, as perfect as we can. And that is why we're in a continuous process. Planning, if done well, is critical for the overall development of the island. And so we encourage people to go out on the 28th of February from 10 a.m. to Memorial Square, right in Charleston, to be a part of it. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, is speaking at his Thursday, February 27th, press conference. Additional information can be obtained from the Department of Physical Planning, located upstairs, the Nevis Water Department, Main Street, Charlestown, or by calling 469-5521, extension 6302, or 2140, or by sending an email to nevplan at yahoo.com. The Department of Physical Planning looks forward to your support. Still to come, we look forward to your support and when we get the online links, they would be shared in our social media pages. The details after this break. 
The Department of Gender Affairs, in collaboration with Ami Cassie Millinery and Accessories, are offering a beginner's millinery hat course. March 16th to 20th, 2020, from 9am to 1pm at the Department of Gender Affairs Conference Room. Registration fee, $50. Deadline, February 28th, 2020. For further information, contact 469-5521, extension 6750. Go on, you owe it to yourselves. Principals, I want to encourage you to continue the work that you're doing at your schools. We do not want to lose our students to the type of writing that is very popular nowadays. And I think, I, I think you, you, you know what I'm talking about. The writing of you to me, you know, why owe you? And the text language that we use, the WhatsApp language that we use, I do not want that to become the norm. We have, I think, a, a very important job in instilling in our children that writing a word in its entirety is still the acceptable norm. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Kevin Barrett, speaking to the principals and students at the recently held presentation ceremony of the rebranded Writing Today publication. The Permanent Secretary noted that he is satisfied with the publication. We want to make sure that we provide as much opportunity to our students as possible when it comes to writing, reading, and the fundamentals that will take them to the next level. And so I am indeed delighted that this has um, come to fruition this morning. Principal Education Officer Zanella Claxton congratulated Education Officer responsible for Language Arts in the Department of Education, Avril Elliott, for the work she did in the publication. Special mention must be made of Mrs. Avril Elliott, our Education Officer with responsibility for Language Arts at the Department of Education here on Nevis. Mrs. Elliott works tirelessly with the teachers throughout the course of the year to ensure that the students are prepared for writing and for writing today. To the students whose pieces were selected to be part of the Writing Today edition, highest commendations to you. Your exemplary work sets a high standard for other students to follow. You are role models. Principal Education Officer Zanella Claxton. The Leeward Island Debating Competition begins today, Thursday, February 27th, at the Montserrat Cultural Center. Nevis's first debate will be on Saturday. Staff sponsor Pearl Bergen went into further detail about the debate. For a Saturday night in the semifinals, we are going up against the winner of the debate between Antigua versus St. Kitts. Our mood for the semifinals is the technological age has caused severe dilution of authentic Caribbean culture. And the mood for the finals, which is Sunday night, is the prevalence of chronic diseases supersedes unemployment as a significant hindrance to Caribbean development. We look forward to your support, and when we get the online links, they would be shared in our social media pages. Two of this year's debaters have participated in past Leeward Island debating competitions, namely Dahlia Slack and Mikkel Meloni. However, Brian Doar, Angelique Liverpool, Dejane Hanley and Ursha Stapleton are first-time debaters. The first debate for the competition is set to take place this evening, where Anguilla will come up against St. Martin with the moot, more than any philosophy, Afrofuturism holds the most promise for rekindling black pride and purpose. Two debates will take place on Friday, February 28th. St. Kitts will compete against Antigua and Barbuda with the moot the use of marijuana should be banned within the CARICOM society due to its negative effects. 
that Montserrat will debate the winner of debate one with the moot, online education is better than face-to-face -face education within the Caribbean context. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Lybert. Thank you for viewing. The Department of Agriculture, in collaboration with local farmers around Nevis, presents another farmer's market at the top of Government Road, Friday, February 28th. You heard me right, Friday, February 28th. And the special for this farmer's market is pumpkin and onions going at $1 per pound. So you heard me right, Friday, February 28th, top of Government Road is the next farmer's market. <laughs>